Not much car. At the Novo. Novo Tail. What up everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. I have finally arrived in India. We are in the city of Kolkata. It is just one day until India's 76th. 76th, right? 76th Independence Day. Who's ready? Get hyped up. For the next four days at least, we're gonna be spending our time here at the Novo Hotel, a five-star luxury hotel right here in Kolkata. <laughs> oh my, what a, look at this welcome, no way. <laughs> Hello, Namaskar, oh my gosh, they're throwing flowers at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, boom, right in the eye. Oh wow, I've never had that happen. Oh my word, thank you. Wow, what is this? What's going on? Uh, thank you. This is incredible. I've never had anything like this done in my life. Wow. This is a to you, sir. Like, may I? Yes, of course you may, yeah. I will, I will bow down. Yes. Wow, truly treated like a royal, royalty. Thank you. Don't you bow? Oh, hello. Namaskar. Oh my gosh. We got a coconut. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. Wow, 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 wow. What's your name? Poonam, Poonam, Parvati. Oh, and you are learning. You're a, new, yeah. you're a new employee. Wow. Okay, this is like the nicest coconut presentation I've ever had. Very, very good. My first Kolkata coconut. Called Coca Coconut. Wow. Thank you all so much. Thank you so, so much. Donyabad, Donyabad. Easily the most impressive hotel welcome I've ever had. Ah, the general manager. Hello. Pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar. Wow, look at this place. True, true luxe levels out here. Conducting the check-in here. Okay, wonderful. Welcome to Novotel Kolkata, sir. Hi. I need signature here. Okay. And we have arrived outside my room, number 617. Very, very excited to see what's going on here. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks, this this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna take off my little shoesies. We don't wanna get the new floor uh, dirty or anything. We're gonna lay my coconut down for just a minute here. And take off the shade so I can actually see what's going on. Wow, unreal, unbelievable. Look at this place. We've got like this nice sofa lounger here. Got a great coffee table. Oh, what is this? Some uh, like a oh a, a, a la, la vaza. I've never seen that that brand of a coffee machine in a hotel room. True, true luxury. Oh my gosh, we got the television. No way! Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all these sweets on my picture. Yes. No way. This is a Bengali sweet oh. store. It's a Kolkata special. Like, are they mish, mishti? Yeah. Doi. Mishti doi. Yes. Doi. Oh wow, those look so. Artistic, they look so artfully done. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you so much. And it looks like we've got, do I pull these back? Yes. Yeah, Ooh. oh, a beautiful view of Kolkata. And this is New Town, right? Yes. Not to be confused with Old Town, this is New Town. Uh, and on the way here, you told me the hotel was built about eight years ago, yes. right? Yeah. Okay, wow, true luxe levels, y'all. Looking beautiful out there for the 87th Independence Day. Oh, feel welcome. Wow, no way. They've put some like leaves on the bed to make yes. uh, make, so it, make it feel like welcome. A, a little touch been done by our Raju. Raju, so very nice. And handicrafts like using lifts. That is a nice touch. That is the nicest of touches. And we want touches. you to feel welcome. I feel very, very welcome. <laughs> like I said, this, this is, uh, my audience has seen all my other hotel videos. This is the warmest welcome I've ever had okay. in my That's life. Really touched wow, beautiful king size bed. We're gonna do the bed test later because I'm very tired and I got a nap somewhere halfway through the day. Oh, looks like we got some uh, waters some uh, re refillable water. We've got this kind of like extendable nightlight here. The telephone, ring, 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 who's calling? We've got a TV. Do you have all my favorite channels? <laughs> Do you have HBO? Yes. Oh my gosh, they got HBO. I can watch all my favorite shows. This is, this is stunning. Here's, wow, this is like the storage room. Get out of here. This is, this is huge. This is crazy. Closet space, more closet space. You could fit a family of six in this place. No, 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 no nothing in there. Okay, <laughs> and then we've got uh, the mirror. Hey, mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh, now I can see myself in the full, 
full dress. What do we call this this thing? What? Uh, Uterio. Ut Uterio? Oh, yes. Uterio. Ooh, I like that. Uterio. That's my new name, Brent Uterio. Here we've got a beautiful sink. Wow. That looks really, really nice. We got uh, the hand wash. We got the body lotion. We got all our little complimentary knickknack, hygienic things, a toothbrush, a shower cap, comb, bathtub. Wow, that looks nice. And then this is, we've got some like partition here. Wow, it's got all this like, what do you even call this, this type of the shower? What are you, I'm curious what the type of glass is with the conditioner, the shampoo, the shower gel. Wow, oh, and it's got the rainforest type deal. That looks really, really nice. And the toilet over here, yeah. where the other forms of business will be getting done. Wow, absolutely spectacular. Truly, truly blown away. What in the world is, is going on here? This is insane. Uh, this is uh, specialty coffee. This okay. Is Dubai specialty coffee. Okay. And this is latte. Latte. So this is the palate cleanser that we're using. Palate before. cleanser. Yeah. Okay. So this is sparkling lemon water. Okay. This you can drink before the coffee to clean the palate. Uh huh. And after you drink the coffee, if you don't want to retain the taste of the palate, you can have the basil water. Oh, unreal! So we got flavored sparkling water and basil water. So first I drink this, then I drink the coffee, then I drink this to get rid of the coffee flavor. Absolutely correct. Sir. That is unreal. What are the beans we are using? You can take the aroma of the beans. Oh, what? <laughs> this is the craziest coffee experience ever. Sorry. You kidding me? Ooh, they don't even smell like coffee beans. They smell like dessert. They smell yeah, like chocolate. It's, it's coming from southern part of India. Ooh. And it's a medium dark roast blend. Okay, I'm they geeking call it out. Silver oak. Silver oak. Silver oak blend. Okay. Wow, and what? And this is what's the name of the coffee shop in Blue here? Tukai. It's a Blue Tukai. Blue Tukai. Time for uh, us to chug this this palate cleanser, this lemon water. Ow! It smells ooh. It smells very strong. Pow! Okay, okay. It's pretty good. Very strong coffee flavor. Very strong. It's definitely like full body. This feels like two shots of espresso. Very nice, so it's very smooth. I'm not getting a lot of bitterness from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll definitely get that again. Probably gonna get one every single morning. Yo, what up, Sonic the Hedgehog? What up? Uh, what is that? Is that a minion? I'm not familiar with that character. I don't know what that is either. I do know that is uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh no, that's, that's a minion. These, these cakes are on levels. They look like cakes. I don't know if they're like sculptures or something or what. Uh, but lunchtime is upon us. This looks to be like the dessert area outside the restaurant where we're headed. Good, good. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. No, that's the wrong one. Namaskar. Namaskar. I just spent 69 days in Bangladesh, so I got I to adjust. Namaskar. Namaskar. Welcome to City of Joy. Thank you. You're the chef? Yeah. Nice to meet you, chef. What's your name, chef? Priya Prato. Great name. Oh. Coming in, dropping it like it's hot. What do we have here? Loving the presentation with like the clay plates. Very soothing. Chef, what what, what are we working with here? Yeah, the beetroot chop. Beetroot chop? Be, uh, okay. Beetroot chop. Beetroot, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken cutlet. Chicken cutlet. Chicken cutlet. Fish. And piece, fried piece. Fried piece of fried chicken, piece. okay. Machir bhaja, all. Machir bhaja. Machir bhaja. Machir Machir bhaja. Machir bhaja, okay. Machir bhaja. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Vegetable, vegetable cutlets. Vegetable cutlets, okay. My apologies, these are uh, very new words to me. I'm gonna probably butcher them. Uh, and then we got the condiment selection over here. We got the ghee, we got the salt, we got the green chilies, we got the tomato chutney, we got the mustard, and we Kashundi. got the ketchup. Kashundi. Kashundi. Kashundi is what yes. they call it here. Yes. We're taking the beetroot chop and we are putting it in the ketchup. How? Thank you. Mm. Whoa. Oh yeah, color. Mm. It's kind of like a mozzarella stick, but obviously no cheese. The bee root is very good. It's a little spicy. I like that. Is the spiciness coming from the batter? That's good. That's good. Wow. Perfectly no, no, cooked. Super hot. And just a mild, mild sweetness from the bee root. I like it. It kind of tastes like potato or pakora. Really, really good. So we're dipping the chicken cutlet, the mugi, <laughs> into the uh, mustard. I'm a mustard addict, pow. Wow. That is a strong, heavy, robust mustard. Oh my gosh. 
That's good. We've got some well-seasoned ground chicken on the inside. Crazy crispy batter on the outside. I should have mentioned that the beetroot chop was, had a really crispy, nice texture batter on it as well. That mustard is amazing. We're going back in for, for number two. I got some German heritage in me, so we love a spicy mustard with a lot of depth and a lot of boldness to it, and that's what's going on here. Mm. Tali, Tali. tali. That, that's probably rude and inappropriate to do. Tali. Not, tali. Wasn't I saying Tali? Tali. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that is the Tali of Talis. Never had a Tali like that. Oh my gosh, my friends. Can I can I try to guess what they are? And then you tell me if I'm correct or wrong? Yep. Butter chicken? Chicken tikka masala? Yep. Soshimach. <laughs> Soshimach. Soshimach. Wasam murgi. Wait, wait, what? Wasam murgi. Wasam murgi. Wasam murgi. And that's chicken. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mutton pasa. Mutton pasa. Mutton pasa. Okay, kosa. Uh, and prawn malai curry. Pra prawn malai curry? Prawn malai curry. Okay. Chana dalna. Chana dal? Chana dalna. Chana dalna? Ah, yes. Ah, okay. This is pulkovi thalia. That's cauliflower, okay. Cauliflower and bindi. Bindi, bindi. Bindi, lady fingers? Oh, so okra, okay. Doi bindi. Doi bindi, so sweet? Tangy and sweet. Tangy and sweet, okay. Tangy and sweet. And gokar kalia. Goka kalia. Goka. 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 Okay. Lentin patty. Lentin patty. Lentil patty. All right. Then mugir dal. Mugir dal. Dal. Okay. And then a classic salad. Tachumar salad. Family. Tachumar salad. Yeah. And begun bhaja. Brindle fry. Begun bhaja. Begun bhaja. Brindle fry. Brindle fry. Yeah. What is that? What? 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 Brindle. Egg plant. Like a plantain? Egg, egg plant. Egg plant. Oh, yeah. egg plant. Like aubergine. Okay. Aubergine. Wow. This is in the Corolla fry. Corolla fry. Uh, bitter gourd. Pepper? Bitter, bitter gourd. gourd. Bitter gourd. Okay. Bitter gourd. Wow. This is a papa. Papa. And giban. Giban, the rice. Okay. And they told me that to start, I should mix the salt with the oh. ghee with the rice? Yeah. All right. So what he's done is he's taken some ghee and he's drizzled that over the rice and now he's taken some salt and put that on the rice as well. So, and this is how we started off with a little salt, rice, and ghee. They describe this as like an amuse-bouche. Pow! This is a luchi. A luchi! Okay. We had some luchi in Bangladesh. Wow. Okay. This, this tastes like popcorn. Like super salty, super buttery popcorn. The ghee the rice and the salt. That is addicting. And now we're pouring the dal over it, okay. Very, very nice. Let me try a bite of that. That's that's so crazily addicting. I never want to eat rice without the ghee and the salt now. Like, I can't even describe like how the ghee made the salt like kick. Insane, okay. Now we got the dal with the rice, pow. Mm. It's a very hearty dal. Very, very pungent. All right, we're gonna start with the chana dal now, and they described it as like, kind of like a paneer, kind of like a cottage cheese. Unexpected, pal. Mmm. Yes, tastes just like paneer. The sauce they're using though, it's very savory, very good, very complex. Some like minor spice, pepper notes in there. Very, very hearty. That's a good gravy. Prawn. The prawn, malai, prawn curry. malai curry. Okay. Yeah. These little prawny boys look really, really nice. Pow. Mm. Wow. Wow. These are some of the flavors I dreamed of when I knew I was coming to India. That is good. It's hard to even define how some of the spices taste here. Um, this is not super sweet, not super spicy. It's very buttery. It's very, uh, it's very rich. It's like an insanely rich curry. Like Next up, we've got the soshimach. Yeah. And this is peas and mustard greens. Unexpected. This is a pea, yeah. like mashed peas. Okay. Pow. It's a fish. Oh, it's fish. Yeah. It's fish. Okay. 
Hilsa? Hilsa. 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 Yeah. Oh, wow. That is good. It's like a mustard fish. This was one of the most popular foods in Bangladesh that I, I, only, I think I only got to try it once, actually. This is so good. You already know how much I love that mustard flavor. And the Hilsa, it's got a pretty, like, strong fish flavor to it that I like. That's good. Again, look how thick these sauces are. Just crazy, crazy. This one's definitely been mixed with a few other uh, ingredients because it's not quite as, like, um, intense as just, like, the pure mustard that we're having. But, mm, that's good. The fish is, like, melt in your mouth. All right, next up, we're going for the chicken. What kind of chicken is it? Kosam Burgi. Kosam Burgi chicken. Oh, wow, that looks like a really, really nice... We're gonna we're gonna go in for this big piece right here. Oh, that looks so good! It looks super super juicy. How? Mmm. Did you hear that juice when I took a bite? That's good. A little spicy, but not too spicy. Great dark meat chicken. Very very tender. Very juicy. Well cooked. I don't even know how to define that. No, it's, a, it's a very no, thick no. curry. It's very like minorly spicy. I like it. Hearty. Everything here is insane. Let's get a little fiber in the system. We're gonna do a little palate cleanser here with what looks to be cucumbers, tomato, onion. red onion. Kind of like a classic, almost like Greek type salad. Pow. Mm -hmm. I think they've used a little maybe like olive oil, dri olive oil drizzle or something in there. Very, very fresh. Very good for uh, getting my mouth ready for the next rainbow of flavors we're about to try here. Doka Dalna time. And yes, between bites, I'm, I'm, I'm Bengali vegetarian special. Vegetarian special, so it's lentil patty. Um, between bites, the chef uh, and our friend here are helping me to pronounce these, these things correctly because I'm butchering every single word. That looks beautiful. A big old chunk. This one's going to be tasty, I can already tell. Pow. The gravy on there it's so so good not spicy it's hearty the lentil has a nice nice earthy flavor to it wow it's it's again I can't even describe like some of these curries some of these flavors never have I ever had flavors like this in my life that's good there's some also some seasoning within the doll that's just insane insane let's make moves now to the mutton I kind of want to do another palate cleanser after this with the ghee and the salt and the rice just because that was so, so good. Uh, if y'all don't know, mutton is my favorite meat. I love chicken, I love beef, but mutton, mutton is the king. Pow. Wow. Very tender. Like, fall off the bone. And it's got some spice to it. That is amazing. High quality mutton. Oh, it's got a lot of spice to it, actually. Mm. That is so, so good. Let's switch gears and try some of the fried bitter melon. Look at these pieces. They're like little coins. Pow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of tastes like... What does that taste like? It's sharp. It's bitter for sure. I've never had anything like that. I don't even know what to think. Wow, that is funky. I don't know if I love the bitter melon. I don't know about that. The bitter melon is definitely a love it or hate it uh, type of food. I don't know. I don't think the bitter melon is for me. So this is something new for me. After we licked our fingers dry, we then dipped them in this lemon water. Ooh, it's hot lemon water to wash them off. What do we call the water? Finger bowl. Finger bowl. Finger bowl. Where <laughs> the water <laughs> with the lemon? The lemon toxic. The finger bowl. The oil and oh, okay. I want to take the lemon and, and rub it around that too. That is the hot water. The oil from your hand will go out. Got it. Oh, the lemon's gonna take the oil off. Okay. I'm gonna smell good after this. You gotta be kidding me. It don't stop and it don't quit. We've now got. So this is like mishti doy. This is the mishti doy. That's the mishti doy. Okay. This is the rajbo. Okay. This is the kala jamun. Kala jamun, one of my and favorites. The kamla bo. Oh my gosh. Kamla, what is that kaja. thing? Kaja. Kaja? Two type of kaja. Okay. And this is the sundays. Wow, in the traditional Indian Indian flag colors. 
this is this is insane. All right, well, let's start off with what I know. Let's go. Oh, no, no, he's telling me to go back. Okay, I think this is the same as we tried in the room, and I really, really liked it. Very good. Sweet, tangy, tastes the same. That's something I could eat every day. I love it. Delicious, delicious yogurt. Which one's this now? Rajbog. 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 Oh, Raj Bog. Raj Bog. Uh, yeah. Oh man. I'm gonna need a list of all these foods that we ate today. I'm never gonna remember any of these. Okay, this one's like swimming in its own syrup. Pow. That's good. It's kind of got like the same texture and consistency as a gulab jamun, but like way more sugary in like a very like white, clear sense, if that makes sense. A very like more white sugar based. Um, sweetness to it. That was good. That was like a palate cleansing dessert by itself. Now we've got the gulab jamun. What's on top? Are those pistachios? Mm. The pistachio. Pistachios, okay. Pistachios on top. Oh wow, that is a dense piece of gulab jamun. Look at that. Just swimming in that syrup. Oh man. Alright, my first taste of gulab jamun in India. Pow! Wow, sweetness overload, but not in the sense that there's too much sweetness. That's good. It's a very dense gulab jamun, very high quality. That might be the best gulab jamun I've ever had in my life. I think so. I think it is. I think it is. Then we've got these little, these are like cold uh, mishtis. Don't, don't we love the design there? How? Very good. Very like a little more robust of a flavor. I feel like those would be good in tea. You would maybe have some tea and eat, and eat those. Very cold, very cool, uh, very neutral, simple, uh, sugar, flour, and milk, I think is what, uh, what what makes those up. And now we've got the yellow mishti. Which one's this called? Kamla bok. Kamla bok. It's like a cottage cheese. Oh, it's like a, a cottage cheese. Okay, yeah. unexpected. We are learning so much, so much new things today about food. God help me if I'm going to be able to retain any of this information though. We're going to have to go back and watch the video like 10 times to memorize all these names. Pow! Spongy! Wow! This one holds the most moisture. This one holds the most syrup in it. Every bite was like biting a sponge. So much of that sugary syrup was held and maintained in that, uh, in that dough ball. That's, that's so, so good. Wow, wow, wow. And then we got this thing, which almost looks like a vegetable, which almost looks like a pea pot or something. Yeah, this almost looks like, like an edamame shell or something, but with this uh, beautiful design inside. Pow. Mm. This one is interesting. It's like a bunch of tortilla chips that are sweet. Um, yeah, the, the, it's not quite like a baklava. It's giving me way more tortilla chip vibes. Hard to explain but I feel like it's kind of like fried crispy dough, which is what I think this one might be as well, with some more baklava on top. As you can tell, the green one and then this one, they don't have a lot of syrup on them. What was the name of the green one? Kaja. 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 And the name of this one? This one is a Kaja, but the different Kaja. flavor. Ah, different flavor, okay, how? Pistachio and this one chip? Saffron. 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 Wow. That's good. That's addicting. It's like fry bread, fry dough, fried tortilla chips with the saffron flavor. Saffron flavor, very good. Not overwhelming. I could eat so much of this. It's got a very like heavy, heavy fried flavor, fried essence to it. You can definitely taste the oil that they Mostly use to cook it. With very good. Yeah, you have it with what? Evening tea. Evening tea. Yeah. Well they well. taste like evening teas because they're heavy, heavy desserts, and I feel like they would do a good job of absorbing the teas. Those were spectacular. Those were good, good desserts. Okay, we've been eating a lot of food, and after we ate a lot of food, we continued to eat even more food. Are you are you the personal trainer? Yes, sir. All right, so this guy's gonna whip me into shape. Up and arm key. Sora. You look like a personal trainer, yes. man. Big, strong guy. I look, I look tiny compared to him. <laughs> Man, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna hit some weights. Perfect. perfect. How, how much can you bench press? Hundred. Whoa! <laughs> way way more than me. 
All right, and in to the Iron Palace. Wow, pretty impressive for a hotel gym. Holy smokes. We got the bikes over here. We got the uh, like the heavy duty abdominal roller over here. A uh, little step up mat so you can see see how good you look. We got the leg extension and then these, these, these are this is like my favorite workout where you take the rope and you, you, you're like Kratos from God of War and you rip them back and forth. More leg extensions. This is this is super legit. We got the bench uh, bench press machine. I'm more of a free weights guy. I I don't want to. I'm not here to give workout advice, but I think free weights are much better for your stability, for your balancing muscles um, than machines. But if you like machines, they got machines. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you like better, free weights or the fixed weight machines? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. We got the bicep curl. Uh, got the free weights over there, some more free weights over here. Massively large uh, ellipticals, that's what's up. We got uh, treadmills over here to run, get those steps in. And then uh, we got the uh, machine over here with the different sort of pulleys and things like that. One, and all right, that's it. Workout done for the day. Back at the outdoor bar, uh, they offered me if I wanted some shisha. They also have like non-tobacco uh, shisha. I'm not a smoker. Only, only the breath of God goes into these lungs. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, but they got. I mean, this, this is cool here. They got all the spirits that you want. They got wine. They got rum. Abner Namki. Saheb. Saheb. Nice to meet Sahib. you, man. Uh, question: What are we gonna be drinking today? Uh, today I'm making for you water and mint fresh juice, and I'll make nice mocktail for you also. Oh, mocktails, okay. Yeah, that's I'm making the We love the mocktails, and, love yeah. the mocktails. So that's uh, waste will be the with the orange, and it'll be the mint and lemon. Ooh, okay. And uh, the nice mocktail, I'll make it for you. First, we'll start with the uh, fresh watermelon with the mint. Okay. Then I'll be make the this nice mocktail for you. Sounds banging. Thank you so much. Thank you. The juice is loose. We got watermelon and mint. Comment below, how do you prefer to drink your beverages? With a straw or just straight from the cup? I used to be a straw guy, but actually, drinking out of a straw leaves wrinkles around your mouth. You don't want to look old, do you? No, of course you don't, Grandma and Grandpa. You want to look young forever. So, pow! Very nice. I probably should have used a straw with that because they've got like the mint leaves in there. I'm just eating a bunch of mint. That's nice very refreshing uh, watermelon juice it's sweet but it's not super sweet at least not for me personally good balance really refreshing this is like a detox drink I can feel this flushing all the bad stuff there's a lot of a lot of bad stuff in there I'm getting flushed out really really nice new foods dropping in oh my gosh y'all this hotel trying to get me fat wow okay so you said these are fish fangers fish fangers and what we got here? Tempura? Some tempura? prawn tempura. Yeah. Prawn tempura. We got prawn tempura and some fish fingers. Oh man, these look good. Don't you, Bob, man? Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> these look quite, quite nice. All right, this is the dinner before the dinner. We're having a room service tonight. Uh, if the next three days at the hotel look anything like this, I'm gonna be the size of a beach ball, guys. But so far, every single bite uh, has been amazing here. We're gonna start off with the fish finger. Fish fingers are kind of funny to me because I've, I saw them all over Bangladesh on the menu. Um, but to me, like a fish finger is something that like a child would order. No offense if you're an adult you like fish fingers. Fish fingers, um, they're for everybody. Um, these look super, super good. Pow. Mmm. 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 Just like you would imagine. Uh, really nice. A tender. White fish on the inside, lean, uh, with some nice crunchy batter on the outside. Very, very good. Great fish flavor, not too fishy. Good balance. That's killer. When I think of fish fingers or fish sticks, I usually think of the frozen ones. These are light years. Light years better than that. Okay, prawn tempura, kind of a Japanese spin tonight. Pow. Mm. Mm. Also the same. That's a giant prawn. It's more of a lighter batter on the outside. The tempura is a lot more like soggy, but not soggy in a bad way. Very nice. On neither of these, on neither of these, have they used too much oil at all. It's a really, really good balance. So while they might seem heavy, because I think 
These ones might have been baked or fried, I'm not sure. Um, they still taste very, very light at the end of the day. I dig them. So this is veg kebab, right? Yes, that's it. Veg kebab. What, what's the actual name for it? Bhutte Mata Kishemi. Bhutte Mata Kishemi. Yeah, this is Bhutte Mata Kishemi. Okay. Uh, this is Tikhalal Paneer Tikka. Okay, oh, Paneer Tikka, so some yeah, cheese, and we got some uh, veg, some onions, onions salads, over there. Some lemon, and, and a chutney? Uh, mint chutney. Yeah. Mint chutney. Yeah. Don yeah. Yabad, thanks brother. Thank ah, okay. And now we got the chicken malai kebab. Whoa. That looks so good. Oh my god, this is a lot of food. They told me that uh, my room service, my, my dinner tonight is coming to like nine o'clock. It is, uh, well it's 7.54 now. They're gonna have to push that back to like 11 o'clock. Please give me some time to, to digest. I'm a cheese fanatic. I'm born in Minnesota. They love cheese in Minnesota. Pow. Mm. Sweet. Ooh, spicy. A little spicy. On the outside, a lot spicy. Ooh, wow. Dang. That's got a karate chop to it. That's nice, though. That's that's nice. Wow. Really good. Gooey cheese. I like it. Let's try this uh, veg kebab pow. Mmm. Mm. Unique flavor. It kind of reminds me of the veg kebab we had today. Of every earthy, down to, down to earth, uh, aromatic. Um, essence to it. Dang. That one just tastes like super healthy. Like super, super healthy. Can't even describe it. Not even going to waste my time with a fork on this uh, Malai Bolti Kebab Pow. Mm. So juicy. Oh my gosh. That's like just a mouth wateringly soft, tender piece of chicken. I have made a terrible tactical error in that I have forgotten to put the mint chutney on the chicken. So we are drizzling that all over. Please, my friend, don't you bud? We got another mocktail dropping in. Mocktail? Which one's this? It's a special uh, orange virgin mojito. Orange what kind? O orange virgin mojito. Orange baji. Baji. Mojito. mojito. This call is without alcohol. Okay, no mocktail. alcohol, yes, thank you. Mojito. This call is the orange mojito, virgin because without alcohol. Oh, okay, orange mojito, baji, no alcohol. Okay, okay. But if you like alcohol, I'm sure this would be amazing with alcohol, but alcohol is haram, guys. Come on. Pow. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very effervescent. It's carbonated. It's got a great tang, a great acidity to it from the um, orange juice. And it's sweet, but not too sweet. That's like another good element to help everything digest here. Let's try some of this green mint chutney. Dang. Mint chutney might be the best chutney. Wow. That is sending me straight to the moon. Oh my god. That's so so good. This was all this was all banging. Uh the chicken was by far my favorite. That was all-star world class. Would eat that every single day. Next up was the cheese. Next up was the fish finger. Then it was probably the prawn tempura. And then it was this uh, veggie patty. Just because I'm always going to pick the proteins over the veggies. Boom! Nightfall is upon us and the room service has arrived. Don't know about it, my friend. This is our friend Neil. And uh, I was like, man, just bring me some of your favorites. I, I, I kind of asked him uh, to surprise me. Currently in work mode. As you can see, I've already trashed the room. We got my clothes thrown all over. I did take uh, a bath. I didn't feel the need to bring y'all in there. So I'm just in my loungy lounge clothes. Working on my next vlog. This one will be, by the time you see this video, this video will probably have been out uh, for maybe like two or three months uh, or something. Gonna grab myself the remote so we can watch some cable television. Maybe see if there's like an Iron Man movie on or something. And uh, here, yeah, please, please. This looks great to me. And we are about to feast. Boom, green salad. Okay, essential. After all the foods we ate today, we need we need some fresh veggies to help uh, offset all the ghee and all the meats and all the sweets and sugary stuff that we had. Pickle. Pickle. Ooh, pickled mango. Is a mixed pickle. Mixed, mixed pickle. Veg. Yeah. Okay. Love pickles. Oh, the card had a chamber of secrets uh, underneath. I was like, wait. What the heck is going on over here? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna swing in and see you do the unveiling. What is that? 
These are Bengali style chicken curries. Bengali style chicken curries. That looks next level. I love how they're stirring it in that. I think that's called like a, is that a tiffin? Oh, I like the ringtone, man. Banging. Veg. Ooh, mixed veg. That looks bomb. Yes, yes, yes. So we got the chicken. We got the mixed veg. We got the fresh veg. We got the pickles. And then. And this is your naan. Naan, the chili cheese naan, cheese, right? Chili naan. Coming out hot out the pot. Wow, look at that naan. That's a good looking naan. That looks really, really nice. Look at those chilies in there. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Some Ooh. papa is there. Oh, some papa. Okay. Nice. So we got the soft and we got the crispy. Truly might be one of the craziest room service spreads I've ever had. Oh, and it's dessert time. Oh my gosh. It's ice cream. Ice cream with the sprinkles. And is your hot gulab jamun. And the hot gulab jamun. Oh my gosh. Amazing, man. Donobad. Thank you so much, Neil. Wow. What should we tear into first, y'all? This is going to be a feast. Because it's been a long day of travel, uh, I'm going to enjoy this meal in silence. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. When it's all over, I'll let you know what the best thing was. Um, just got a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow is Independence Day here in Bangladesh. We're going to be heading to the Independence Day brunch here at the hotel for day two. So thanks so much for joining me on day numero uno here. And let's get ready for tomorrow. Day two at the Novotel. Abner Namki. Kutubuddin. Nice to meet you, my friend. Uh, he saw that I, this guy is uh, the housekeeper cleaning my room. He saw that I had some Bangladeshi taka on the dresser. He's like, were you just in Bangladesh? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not exchanged all the currency yet. Uh, it was an awesome morning. Uh, I went to the Independence Day Parade uh, on the Red Road. That vlog actually came out a few months ago. Uh, posted that early because I wanted to make sure to take advantage uh, of, of the, the, the immediacy of it. And now it's time for a crazy Independence Day brunch. And this is, it's, it sounds so loud. It sounds like a concert in here. Looks like they've got an insane array, array of new desserts out now. Follow a cheesecake tart. Yes, we're gonna get some of that. Orange profit rolls, apricot, almond oh, no, screaming. This is gonna be so loud, so crazy. Wow, they've got a live band in here playing. So it's gonna to be too loud to talk uh, while I eat the food. But real quick, we got the baked fish with the marinara sauce. We got the herb roast chicken butter with tossed with vegetables with pan juice. We got the beef bulgogi. Oh my gosh, we're gonna feast. We got the roasted vegetable cannellini. Uh, the potatoes are coming. Vegetable Spanish paella. I'm gonna guess there's some wontons in there. Uh, some ape treasure vegetable. Place is absolutely packed. We're gonna we're gonna try to fly over here as quickly as we can uh, before the music starts to see what else they got here. Oh my gosh, we got the chicken oak bungalow, the prawn chetanad. Look at these. Like, what do you do? Do you even like? Oh my god! It's a crazy, crazy container. Wow. This is unreal. Cotton on vegetable. Hi. More vegetables. Uh, this is the fastest tour ever. White rice. Uh, oh my gosh. We're gonna get stuck. I think it's a Fuchka station. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Un unbelievable. Where are the desserts? I'm, I'm craving something sweet. I skipped breakfast today because I knew this was gonna be big. We got all sorts of crazy focaccia bread. What else we got? Hello, brother. How are we you? got good, good. We got pizzas. More pizzas, tuna marinated fish. What in the world, guys? I, I don't even, I don't even know what to, what to think. We're gonna find a seat here. Oh, where the oh, the desserts bar. We already looked at the desserts bar. I kind of want to have desserts first because those look so, so good. Green spice pan fried fish, tiramisu kebab, candied walnut, arancini, and that's that. And then I don't know if they're making up fresh pasta to go or something. It almost looks like a pasta bar. All right, up bright and early for some breakfast room service today. Tomorrow, we're gonna check out the breakfast buffet, but for right now, my man Neil is gonna serve me up today's breakfast. So let's see what's on the menu. I actually think I ordered last night and then I've forgotten what I've ordered, so we're gonna find out. Here we go. First up, we've got the muesli, there we go. All about that fiber in the morning, if you dig what I'm saying. Gotta get things moving. Whole milk. Oh, some some whole milk. Okay, very nice. Oh, and here comes the fresh fruit platter. So essential. We got some pineapple, some kiwi, some watermelon, some mango. What I think is some cantaloupe. Very very excited. Now we got the bananas coming in hot for that potassium. The bit curd. 
Oh, some some sweet some yogurt, some sour sour yogurt. You call it curd? Yeah. Okay, some curd. Start things off. Love some good curd. Coming up next, we got the watermelon juice. Again, we are we are. It's a healthy breakfast, guys. Cause we got a detox. We got a, we got a flush. We got butter. Ooh, butter. Nice. Some cashew. Cashew is okay. Yum. Start the day with some tasty nuts. These are like mixed that. with jam. Ooh, okay. Jam, very nice. And these are tomato ketchup. Tomato ketchup, oh, lovely. Coffee. Lovely. Oh, some toast, amazing. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, wow, and then some beautiful eggs. Wow, looks scrumptious. Those look absolutely amazing. Can you tell Hi. everybody your name again? My name is Peter Brutal. Okay, it is, it is day, my gosh, where's the time gone? It's technically day four here at the Novotel Hotel. Tomorrow I'm flying to Kochi. What the heck is this? Cottage cheese something? What? Cottage cheese bruschettes. Cottage cheese bruschettes. That looks amazing. What is going on here? There's like this, is that more cheese? Is that like? Basically twee. Twee? Yeah. Twee? 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 It's a it's a garnish. Can yeah. I can I eat and it? Some Ukrainian uh, cream cheese rolls. Cream cheese rolls. Can I yeah. eat this? Yeah, you can have it. I I can eat this. Yeah, wow. Definitely. Okay. This looks amazing. <laughs> Don't you bad. Thank you, chef. Thank you. All right. Put your hands up in the air for this one. It looks like there's some sort of sauce in the bottom here. Uh, I've been addicted to the cottage cheese here in India so far. I've literally eaten it every single day. I've been at this hotel. Uh, like I said earlier in the video. It ain't nothing like the cottage cheese back in the United States. This is, it's just so, so good here. Pow. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a creamy tomato sauce. And the cheese, it's just so soft, but firm, if that makes sense. It's not like, it's not especially gooey, and it's not like minced, like a cottage cheese it would be back in the United States. That's good. That's like a heavenly sauce. It kind of reminds me of like a tomato pasta sauce or something. I would eat this sauce on, on everything. Dish number two, drop it in like it's hot. Or it actually looks kind of cold. Oh, that looks fresh and delicious and very healthy. Much needed. Much, much needed after, <laughs> after eating so much cheese these past couple pear. days. Oh, it's a Parmesan cup? Yeah. And then we've got like red some onion, avocado, some push pear, avocado, some push, push beer. Push beer. What is that? Here's red wine, push beer. Red onion is push for Red you. wine. Red wine. Oh, okay. What is that? Here's pear. Pear. Yeah. Very, very nice. Wow. This looks exceptional. Yo, this one looks really crazy. What is going on here? What? Oh, it's soup, a, it's a soup. Pumpkin and thyme soup. Pumpkin soup? Yeah. Oh my gosh, pumpkin is one of my favorite vegetables in the so, world. You know, crisps. Crepes. Lava crisps with some, you know, pa pa pumpkin oh, wow. on the side. So that's that's pumpkin on top. Yeah. And then pumpkin soup. Yeah. With with what are the other ingredients? Uh, some twee, some you know, uh, fresh herbs, thyme. Wow, fresh herbs, thyme. That looks that looks beautiful. It's pal. Creamy. Good. The pumpkin flavor is very like subtle. It's super creamy though. I like it. It's like a bisque. A bisque. Um, the minced pumpkin. The, the cracker is phenomenal. Super crunchy. It's got a nice like sesame seed flavor to it. Very homey. Very heartwarming. A killer. Killer soup. Next up, it looks like we've got some. Oh, I can't even see. Oh, pasta! Wow, that's like the most beautiful pasta I've ever seen. Look at that green. That's like it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle a green. Pasta in green pea puree. A green pea pasta in green pea puree. Yeah. Wow. Gang green. That is a very soothing and appealing green. I like what I'm seeing. Uh, it's so so appealing. I want this split green pea sauce and everything. Full disclosure: peas not my favorite vegetable. Probably one of my least favorite vegetables. I don't really like it when uh, restaurants put peas in the biryani. I'm sure peas are very helpful, healthy, but peas, I don't know, they, just, they never seem to do a good job of, of absorbing any flavors or anything like that. But let's see how this tastes. Pow! Very good. Earthy. Even though it's a pea pide, it's not giving me major pea vibes. Maybe the peas in India are way better than any other peas I've had in the world. Oh my gosh, they go, now we have the main course. I thought the pasta was the main course. Wow, that is gorgeous. 
What in the world is that? You know, this is uh, beetroot mash with some beef mini steak. Beetroot mash with some, some steak. Mini steak. What kind of what kind of steak is that? This is tenderloin. Tenderloin. Yeah. Oh wow, that looks amazing. If I knew this was coming, I wouldn't add so much pasta. Wow. Thank you, chef. It's some juice. Oh, and some of the juice. Some of the juice that we're gonna that we're gonna dip that meat in and right now. Donya Bad, thank you so much. Let's get into some tenderloin. Gosh, I haven't had steak in so so long. I had steak at one restaurant in Bangladesh and it was terrible. But someone tells me this one's gonna be a lot, lot better. We're gonna dip it in that juice. The juice. And this drip drop dripping off, pal. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Robust flavor. That's good. The juice, there's a little spice to it. Unexpected. The meat is very, very dense. You can tell it's super high quality. Wow. That is, that is a good piece of meat. And now to close out the lunch chapter, it is dessert time. And this looks like a amazing piece of cake. What the heck is this, sir? It's uh, blueberry petite. Blueberry petite? Yes, sir. Wow. It's vegan also. Vegan, okay. We love that. They got a nice little chocolate coin there. It looks like we got this like caramelized orange, so maybe some types of whipped cream or cream, and then uh, some little blueberries there. Tonya Bot, thank you. Okay, it looks like they've like shaved some pistachios or something all over the plate as well. Oh, wow. So yeah, there's definitely some sort of like heavy thick cream frosting on the outside. We've got that cream in the middle there. How? It's light, it's airy, it's creamy, it's delicious, and it's vegan. Is this the best dessert I've had here? I gotta think about this. This might be the best. I'm eating the whole thing. I'm eating the whole thing. All right, we've had a rip roaring, exciting couple days here at the Novotel. Now it's time to relax. I mean, I've literally been relaxing every single day, but there's been a lot of work involved as well. Hello, Namaskar. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm very well. Apnar Nam Ki? Uh, Amar Nam Kriti. Kriti, beautiful name. The Meghavi Wellness Spa. And we are here to get some treatments done because we're going to treat ourselves. What do we got? We got spa beauty services, full body massages. We got everything. Apnar Nam Ki? Unya. Unya, nice to meet you. Thank you. And you are going to give me a Balinese massage. Balinese? Style? <laughs> a little little language barrier, I think. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. This, this is the massage room, very beautiful. And uh, we're gonna shut off the camera because there's nothing interesting to really see about a massage, but I, I think it's gonna feel good. <laughs> I feel like a new man. I think the Balinese massage is now my favorite type of massage. If you can't tell, she was doing head massage, face massage, there was like pulling, there was, there was stretching, there was, there was everything. Wow, I could, I could, I could have fallen asleep in there. I, I could fall asleep right now for about 16 hours. <laughs> Manicure time? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Apanar Nam Ki? Barnani. Nice to meet you, Barnani. So we're gonna start with a little nail cutting. That's the first step of any essential manicure. Now next up comes the filing. This is where we get them uh, nice and smooth on the nail nail part so I don't cut anybody. <laughs> now you're putting on like a wax? No, it's a cuticle cream. Cuticle cream. Mm. Yes. Cuticle cream from a cutie. And we put the cuticle cream on and now we are dipping our hand in the water. It's it's just water, right? Yes. Just water? Okay. No, water and salt. Water and salt? Yes. And what? Sample. Sample. Water and salt. Manicure sample and Okay. So my hands were occupied, so I couldn't show uh, what was going on. But now we're, we're doing the scrub because I went with the spa uh, manicure, not just the basic manicure. It feels so good. It feels so, so good. Thank you so much. And there was some more clipping, and there was a lot of soaking of the hands. This smells amazing. It's kind of like some sort of like exfoliant and uh, just taking off a little dry and dead skin. Guys, look at that shine on those nails. Wow, glistening, glistening. 
You're doing such a good job. This is so, so, so relaxing. Much. Now we've got some sort of paint brush out. It looks like we're mixing up paint, but what's this called? Mask. Mask, ooh, okay. So we're gonna apply a little mask to the arms now. This, the, the, I think this is the best pedicure I've ever had in the world. Like outstanding, she did such a good do job. Look at how shiny my arm looks. She uh, moisturized it all up, some other like lotions. This is this is true, truly getting treated like a king. All right, and the painting begins. Ooh, it feels nice, it's cool. Oh gosh, I really like that. Wow, I'm your canvas and you are the artist. This feels awesome. Okay, we just got my hair washed. Didn't feel the need to take you along for that journey. And now it's time for our hair treatment from our lovely new friend here. How long have you worked at the hotel? How many years have you worked at the hotel? You don't know, okay. Now she is applying the treatment uh, to the roots and uh, throughout the hair, she just brushed my hair. A lot of hair came out. I haven't brush brushed my hair in so long. I usually use a thick tooth comb and uh, that doesn't always get all the stray follicles. Did you know you lose, you shed 100 hairs a day? Okay, now they're putting in the steam machine to uh, add more moisture to my hair. The water in Bangladesh was, was so terrible, y'all really did a number on my hair. And we're all done, feeling fresh and new. This is Banani, otherwise uh, people also call her Sweetie, right? Yes. You did such a good job, so thank you so, so much. Really thank appreciate you. it. And this is it, everybody. My last night at the Novotel Hotel. Certainly won't be my last night staying at a Novotel. I'm gonna stay at these hotels over and over again, beyond impressed. For my last dinner, we're having it in the room. We're doing a little healthy Caesar salad. We got some rolls, and then I had to go with the lamb chops, one of my all-time favorite foods. We also got the sweet lime juice. So I'm gonna feast and uh, eat this in peace. Um, major thanks to everyone who made my stay here so, so very special. And major thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this video. This video is probably like an hour long, so really, really appreciate those of you that stuck it out until the end. My name is Bren Tim from Kolkata, India. And we're just getting started, baby. And I'm saying ciao for now.